When managing Azure Virtual Machines, it's important to ensure that they are started and stopped according to your business needs. While auto shutdowns are an excellent way to save cost, there are situations where you want your VMs to start automatically at a certain time, perhaps during business hours or at the beginning of a scheduled task. Azure provides powerful automation tools and one such tool is VM Automation Task. In this video, we will walk through the steps of creating an automation task to auto start an Azure Virtual Machine. This will help ensure that your VMs are up and running when needed without manual intervention. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT Webcast. In the last video, we learned how to configure auto shutdown for Azure Virtual Machines. While there is a dedicated option to schedule an auto shutdown for an Azure VM, there is no direct option to auto start an Azure VM. We can use an automation task to auto start an Azure Virtual Machine. With automation task, Azure offers a simple way to manage a specific resource or resource group using automation task templates. These templates depend on the Azure resource. For example, for an Azure Virtual Machine, you can create an automation task that starts or shut down that virtual machine on a predefined schedule or sends the resources monthly cost. This can be especially helpful if you are trying to reduce the cost of your Azure VMs. An automation task is actually a workflow that runs on the Azure Logic App Service behind the scene. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. Under Azure Services, click on Virtual Machines. This will open the Virtual Machines page. Now select your VM which you want to set up and auto start. Here I have a virtual machine named AppWS-VM01 that I am going to configure for auto start. On VM Overview page, expand automation, then click on Task. Click on Add a task so that you can select a task template. In this example, we will select the Start Virtual Machine template. In the Connection section, select Create for each connection that appears in the task to provide authentication credentials for all connections. First, let's create a connection for the Azure VM. Click on Create. When you are prompted, sign in with your Azure account credentials. Click on Sign in. Click on Authorize. Let's select our account. Once the connection is successfully authenticated, you will see a connected status. If you want to receive email notification, you need to connect to Office 365 Outlook as well. Let's click on Create. Click on Sign In. Click on Authorize. Again select your account. Perfect. The authorization was successful. Under Connections, we can see the connected status for both Azure VM and Office 365 Outlook. After authenticating the required connections, select Next Configure. Using the automation task, we can create a task that automatically starts the virtual machine a specific number of times every day, week or month. Set the interval value to the number of times and the frequency value to day, week or month. The automation task continues to work until you delete or disable the task. Enter a name for this automation task. Next, enter the start time for our task. For this demo, we will set the auto start time to 8 am. You can set the time based on your business hours or non working hours. Now, select the time zone based on your region. In my case, it is Indian Standard Time. Interval means how long the task should run with the frequency. Frequency could be day, week or month. For example, if the interval is set to 1 and the frequency is set to daily, the task will run every day. In this example, I have set the interval to 1 and frequency to day to start a virtual machine daily at 8 am. Azure also gives you the option to receive notifications before the VM starts. Select the ON option and enter your preferred email address. Type the email addresses where you want the auto start notification to be sent. This is particularly useful if you have team members who need to be informed before a VM starts. 
When you are done, select Review plus Create. Once the validation is successful, our automation task will be created automatically. Wait for the confirmation notification to appear. The newly created task now appears on the task list. The task is automatically live and running. Keep in mind that you will be charged by automation task based on the trigger and action executions in the underlying logic app workflow. Now the Azure VM will start automatically at the scheduled time. You can click view to see the task run history including statuses, inputs, outputs and other details. That's all for this video on how to create automated task to auto start an Azure virtual machine. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.